So today I'm talking about a P0456 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0456 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system small leak detected. And so what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that's taking all the gas vapors from the gas tank and sending them to the engine to be burnt away so that they don't escape into the atmosphere. And when you get a P0456 code, the computer's seeing that there's some kind of leak going on inside of this system. And these systems can be designed differently. The components can be located differently and different things like this. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, be sure to get a diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But the basics of how these work is that the gas vapor is going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. There's also what's called a vent valve. And the vent valve does different things. The computer can close it and test the system and be sure it holds pressure and different things like this. But the gas vapor is going to leave the charcoal canister and they're going to go up into the engine compartment and locate it up around the engine somewhere. It's going to be what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically stays closed when the engine's not running. But then when the engine warms up, at some point, the computer is going to send it a signal to open and the gas vapors are going to go into the engine and be burnt away. And so that's a real basic overview of how these EVAP systems work. Like I said, if you are going to work on your system, be sure to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. I made a video on how you go about fixing EVAP codes and how you go about checking all these components and everything and testing them and being sure they work. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. But basically, when you get this P0456 code, the computer's seeing a leak somewhere inside of the system. And so it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0456 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad gas cap. That gas cap is a part of the EVAP system. It needs to seal correctly or else it could cause a leak and cause issues. This is also going to include the new vehicles that don't have a gas cap that have that inlet that automatically opens up. If that's leaking or anything like this, then this can also cause issues. But a lot of people automatically go buy a gas cap when it may or may not be the problem. If you do go and get a gas cap, try to get an OEM gas cap. Since sometimes those aftermarket third-party gas caps, sometimes they don't seal correctly and they cause problems. If you do just have a standard gas cap, one thing you can do is if you could take a plastic bag and you put a hole in it, you double it up like four or five times, you put it around the gas cap and you tighten it up. That way you could get it to seal. And then you clear the code and you see if the code comes back. It could take two to three, four or five days for that computer to test the system again and turn the light back on. So if you do this, it's best to wait like at least three or four days to know if it got cleared or not. You can't look up how your specific vehicle, what time it goes to test the system. It's like sometimes the computer will do it at like two o'clock in the morning or something like that. It can really vary. Like I said, I made a video on all of this. I'll put a link down below to it. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad gas cap. The next thing that could cause this is that there is a leak somewhere inside of the EVAP system, that one of the hoses is leaking, one of the components is leaking, something along these lines. And so you can't go through all the different EVAP components. You can go and check them and check to see if you can find any leak or anything like this. But this can be kind of hard to do. If you're in a mechanic shop, what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they'll feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever the smoke comes out, they'll know where the leak's at and they'll know where they need to fix it. If you have an air compressor, these are low cost items, usually around $40, $50. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make these up yourself. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about making these up for like less than $5. But the next thing that's going to cause this is an EVAP leak. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad purge valve. And the purge valve is going to be located up inside the engine compartment. It's basically just a solenoid that opens and closes when the computer tells it to. If these get stuck open, then that can cause problems. These can get stuck open or closed. But if it gets stuck open, then that could cause a leak. There's a few different ways to go about testing it. The purge valve is normally closed. So when there's no power going through it, you shouldn't be able to blow through it. So if you can't blow through it, then you know it's stuck open. You can also test this without removing it from the vehicle by checking to see if there's any vacuum on the line. Again, I made a video on this. The link will be in the description. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad purge valve. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel tank pressure sensor or EVAP pressure sensor. And basically, there's a pressure sensor located somewhere inside the EVAP system that's reporting information back to the computer. And if that pressure sensor goes bad, it might just be sending bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Usually when these pressure sensors go bad, you're going to get another code. But strange things happen. They can also be located differently. Quite often, they're located right up on the fuel pump, which, depending on a vehicle, can be kind of hard to get to sometimes. But they can also be located differently. Sometimes they can be located on the charcoal canister and things like this. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel tank pressure sensor. The last thing on the list is going to be a bad vent valve. The vent valve is very similar to the purge valve, except it's normally open until the computer tells it to close. The vent valve is going to be located down underneath the vehicle by the charcoal canister somewhere. 
Quite often they're built into the charcoal canister, but they can also be located separately. They could be located like right next to it and things like this. Again, it's gonna vary, but basically if that vent valve gets stuck open and it doesn't close when the computer tells it to, that can cause a leak, that could cause problems. Usually when that vent valve goes bad, you're gonna get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is gonna be a bad vent valve. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a basic video on how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0456 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.